Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, which is always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Father, hide me behind the cross. I've been done to me by all of you. In Jesus' name, speak to these of the clay and let everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Turn with me now to John. John 14, 13 through 16. John 14, 14 through 16. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. If you shall ask anything in my name, wait a minute, wait, uh, verse 13. And whosoever shall ask any, ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray to the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus, for the reading of your word. Father, bless it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today, I'd like to talk to you as a subject title, In His Name, is what I want to preach today about. In His Name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. We got to realize the authority of God and the power of His name. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Without the presence of the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. We need the presence of God. We need the Holy Spirit. He gives us the authority to use the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. If you're using His name without His presence in your life, and you're not living by His commandments, meaning you're not truly in a relationship with Him, then you're using His name in vain. Somebody shout, wow. That's good preaching. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. That's why He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. I love what a rabbi said. He said, don't tell me you love me. He said, find out what would break my heart, then don't do that thing, then you show me you love me. Faith and action bring satisfaction to the Lord because it's impossible to please God without faith. But you've got to have His presence in your life before you can receive the promises that He's got for you. Somebody say that's good. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I've said it before, Shakespeare once asked, what is in a name? I'm going to, I just answered that. In a name, there is power, there is strength, and there's identity. The Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are saved. Bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. The word saved mean, means just this. Totally lacking nothing. It's the word sozo. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to say it like this. If you belong to Christ and He's your bridegroom, then the bride has already received His name. In this scripture we just read, we see right here. In that first scripture we just read, we see he gives us two things at the altar of our heart. When you got saved, you made an altar somewhere, maybe even somewhere you bowed down in your heart. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. So what am I going to explain right there? I'm saying this. He'll meet you at the altar. He'll bless you and he'll give you his name. Remember this. So many people, the Bible says that he is married to the backslider. I believe that's in Jeremiah. He said, I am married to the backslider. So even if you've fallen away, you still, if you've backslid, you still have the name of the Lord. 
It's your, just right now you're using it in vain. Come back to Jesus today. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. What will he do at the altar? He'll meet you there. He'll bless you and he'll give you his name. What authority do we have in his name? I'll show you right now. I'm glad you asked that. Go to Mark. Mm, glory, hallelujah. Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Mark 16, 16 through 20. Bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. I'll go to verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. That's not just with water, friends. People say, Oh, well, I'm going to baptize with water, and then you're saved. No, that ain't how it works. If you're in a car wreck, and you're getting ready to die, and you ain't ever been baptized in water, what you going to do, spit on the person? No. I'm telling you what. You can get to heaven without water baptism. Water baptism's a part of it. Don't get me wrong. But if you're in a car wreck and you're dying, you don't need water baptism to save you. You need the blood to save you of Jesus Christ. Unless you're baptized in the blood, you ain't going to heaven. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He that believeth and is baptized, that's by the blood of Jesus and on the name of the Lord, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them, hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. All of this is in his name. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. There's an, another scripture where he says, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, heal the sick. This is the great commission. Everybody who's been born again and filled with the Spirit of God has the power in him to do anything we got to do. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. <coughs> got a little bit too much water there. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know that the, the name of the righteous is blessed? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Go to Proverbs. Proverbs 10, 7. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to do this whole sermon like this tonight. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to shout a little bit, but I'm going to take it slow and easy today hallelujah holy ghost i love you lord jesus amen thank you lord proverbs 10 7 the memory of the just is blessed but the name of the wicked shall rot bless you holy ghost i do love you lord jesus amen thank you lord if i said any kind of name throughout history you'd instantly relate a picture in your mind. That's because of the either the power and authority that they walked in, spiritually speaking, and physically, whatever kind of job they had, that they could be known historically. You can pinpoint a vision of that person. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Does somebody see what I'm saying right there? Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Do you know the name of the Lord is so sacred, that's why we should not swear by the altar or by any name? I believe it says that we're not to swear by the name of the Lord. Why? Because His name is sacred. You should not ever swear by the name of the Lord. Do you know that's why they did that in court? When you'd go to court in the old days, they would say, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and none but the truth, so help you God? You would be swearing by the name of God. Meaning, you'd be doing two sins, lying to a court of law, but first you'd be lying against the Lord. So you'd get in trouble with two judges. The awesome, just judge, 
and the secular not so just judge. <laughs> Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm excited about the presence of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. And on the day we get married to mercy, on the day when all the saints make it home, he gives us a new name for us staying faithful for that heavenly wedding day. Amen. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Revelation 3 and 12. What's your name going to say about you on the day? Hey, that God reads it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. The Bible said, whose name was ever not written in the Lamb's book of life. I believe that's Revelation 20. Was cast into the lake of fire. I believe Revelation 20, 12 says that. But go real quick to Revelation 3, 12. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, give us more, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 3 and 12. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Wait a minute. I said 312. <laughs> Sorry about that. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Bless the Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. What? Now, you need to understand something. Jesus is God in flesh. He is the Word made manifest. Amen. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. But look at this. He said, I come in the name of my Father. And hallelujah, I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He comes in the name of the Father. And Him and the Father are one. Meaning all authority. In His name is because He is God. And God has given us His name. And He's put His name. According to the Bible, I can't remember where it is. He says that He wrote His name on His great creation. On His greatest creation. That He wrote His name on His greatest creation. That He wrote His name on the hearts of His creation. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. This is a good sermon, I think. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let me see real quick. Revelation 20, 12, if that was it or not. I love the Lord giving me revelation knowledge. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. But notice he said in that earlier verse, in verse 12, he'll go no more out. Meaning there's rest in the name of God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, it was, it was Revelation 20, 12. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God in the book. Books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those books. The dead were judged out of those books, the things which were written in the books. According to their words, verse 13. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait a minute, it's verse 15, Revelation 20, 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. But let's go ahead and go into this. The Holy Ghost just took me a different way. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 
And the sea gave up their dead, verse 13, which were in it, and the death, death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of the fire, a lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. You've got to have your name in the Lamb's book of life. Your name has got to come before the throne and be written in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. There's all power in His name. People say, well, I believe in God. Which God? The Bible says that in James... He said, you do good to believe in one God, but demons both believe and tremble. At who? At the name of God. They tremble at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. When all the saints, friends, make it home and get married, like I said earlier, when we are called up to meet the bridegroom, we, his bride, receive full adornment. Ezekiel 16, 11 through 13. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Now this is really a type and shadow of the wedding day in heaven. Bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. And while we're receiving full-fledged fun up there in heaven, they're going to be down here receiving nothing but damnation and trouble and hell. So I'd rather be at the wedding banquet. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. When the bridegroom comes calling for the bride, <laughs> I'd rather have my lamp trimmed, my wick trimmed, than to ever miss the bridegroom. Hey, bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Revelation, uh, I'm sorry, Ezekiel 16. I, got, I had a little fun with Revelation. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Ezekiel 16, 11 through 13. Bless you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Actually, go to um, verse 10 first. No, go to verse 9. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to love you, Lord. Hmm. Actually, go to verse 8. I'm sorry, this is good. Now, when I passed by thee, verse 8, Ezekiel 16, 8 through... 13, bless you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus, amen. When I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love. Hey, and I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swear with thee, saith the Lord, hey, God, that thou becomest mine, becamest mine. Then washed I with the water, hey, I thee with water, what? The water of the word. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Also, we got to be baptized in the water of the word. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. See, water baptism is an outward sign of an inward commitment. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. But a lot of people go through the motions. They go down a dry devil, come up a wet one. <laughs> they ain't got no faith as far as a mustard seed could grow. They ain't got faith. Remember, it's impossible to please God without faith. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now when I passed over thee, I looked upon thee. Behold, thy time was the time of love. And I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, saith the Lord God. And thou becamest mine. That's when he married us the first time. When we got saved, we became his. But guess what? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. They then washed I thee with water, yea, th thoroughly washed away the blood from thee. What blood? The blood that was on your hands was washed away by his blood and by the washing of his word. Hey, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And I anointed thee with oil. Hebrews 1.9. He anoints us with the oil of gladness. 
even above our brethren, but I believe it's also a physical anointment and not just spiritual. Amen. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I deck thee with also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands and a chain on thy neck, but I put and I put jewelry on thy forehead, and earrings in thy ears, and a beautiful crown upon thy head. Thine head, sorry. Thine head. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver. The raiment was fine linen and silk and embroidered work. Hey, thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil, and thou was exceeding beautiful, and thou did prosper into a kingdom. A kingdom. He's talking about the wedding banquet also in heaven. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. For all you church of God people that don't like women to wear jewelry, you just miss that one totally. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> do you see what I mean, though? I mean, God wants us because we're his beautiful bride, and he'll go to any lengths to get us. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to live with Jesus. It's referring to the wedding day when God decorates His bride, but besides that, there are those going around, and this we must address today, that are using His name wrong. They're using it not just in vain. Now, wait a minute. And for the wrong re they're using his name wrong and for the wrong reasons. Some are doing it for self-glory instead of his glory. Others are doing it for the gold or the wealth. Others are doing it because they feel they have to do it, like they're going to have no choice but to follow or go to hell. So what? So they do it out of fear instead of gratitude of faith. So what's going to happen if we bless someone who actually we find out was not of him after all? Nothing. We by no means lose our reward. Mark 9 41 and Matthew 10 41 through 42 declares. Thank you Holy Ghost. I love you Lord Jesus. But go ahead and real quick and we're going to read both of them. Thank you Holy Ghost. I love you Lord. That was Matthew, uh, sorry, Mark 9, 9, Mark 9, 41. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Actually, go to verse 40. He that is not against us is on our, our part, on our side. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. We are to do anything for him. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Remember he said, when I was in prison, you visited me. Remember I was naked and you clothed me, sick and you or sick and you visited me, hungry and you fed me. And they're going to say, when did we do this? Or when didn't we do this? And he said, I'm going to say on that day, as you've done it unto the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Or as you've not done it unto the least of them, you've not done it unto me. He said, both ways will be said on that day. Bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Matthew 10, bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. I hope somebody's getting blessed tonight. Matthew 10, 41 through 42, bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, amen. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth the righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever 
shall give to under one of these little ones a cup of cold water. There's the word little ones. Thank, thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say unto you, he shall not by no, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Meaning, if they bless you and they're really not a God, you know, you know, you know you're not going to miss nothing. But if you bless them, and they be not a God. You'll by, by no means lose your reward. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, it does say don't cast your pearl before the swine, but let me, let me explain this to you. God has a protection plan over His promises in your life. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. He'll not let nothing happen to you, friend. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. By the way, if they prophesy in His name and nothing happens, you're not to fear them. For they will die for falsely prophesying in His name. Deuteronomy 18, 22. He said, if a prophet comes presuming to prophesy in my name and it does not come to pass, he said, you're not to fear them, for they were not of me, and they shall surely die. Now, I know that was Old Testament, but let me explain this. Friends, we see in part, we prophesy in part. So what does that mean, friends? We see only what God will allow us to see. People say, well, I want a full detailed prophecy. Go to somebody else, because I don't do that. I just see what God tells me and what God shows me. That's what I say, because as Jesus said, I do nothing except what the Father shows me. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Remember Jesus said that, that um, they would hate us for his name's sake? Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Sometimes when you prophesy in his name, people don't like the outcome of that. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. <laughs> but now also, when a prophet gives you a word and you know it's of God, it's your responsibility to grab hold of that. Because if you don't grab hold of that and you just let it go and say, well, God will bless me now because he said it and you don't continue to declare what the word of God was and you know that was the prophet of God, then you ain't going to really get ready to receive nothing unless you declare the word of God that the man of God done sent to you. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. There's all power... In his name, the name of Jesus. Because let me explain. Now also let me explain this. If you get a prophecy by the Holy Ghost and it don't come to, to fruition at a certain time that you want it to, it don't mean it was of God, not of God. It means that you tried to put a time limit on your eternal miracle. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. He said, write it down. Write the vision down on the wall, on the tablet and make it plain that those who read it might run. They read it. That, Amen. Bless your Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Write it down upon tablets and make it plain. Write the vision down. If God gives you a word, write that word down and declare the word of God because the Holy Ghost will check your spirit. You'll feel a, a if they're not of God when they prophesy, you'll feel a quench in your spirit. It's called quenching the Spirit of God. You'll feel that. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Excuse me, y'all. Thank you, Lord. I do love the Lord so much for giving me His Word. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. There's all power in His name, the name of Jesus. Let me explain what I'm saying. The Bible says there is no other name under heaven given among men that they might be saved but by the name of Jesus, Acts 4 and 12. Like I said, the name of the Lord is a strong tire of the righteous. Run in and are saved. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Remember this and don't forget it. When people use his name as a four-letter cuss word, they are taking his name in vain. But also when they say, Lord, I'll live for you, and they don't even make no effort in his kingdom. Then let me explain this. 
they are taking his name in vain. We're not to swear by his name. That one, that one we can find. Wait a minute. That one we can find. He will not. He will not let us go with that. I mean, he will hold us accountable to what we declare in him. Exodus 20 and 7, the Bible says that we will give an account of every word that cometh out of our mouth. The Word of God declares that. Bless you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And He and the Father are one. Thank you, Jesus. But Exodus 20 and 7 says, You shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. And He also says that He will hold us accountable to that. Whatever you pledge in the name of God, be sure you fulfill it. Bless your Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I got two scriptures in the New Testament to back that up. The first is in Matthew 7, 22. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I hope you've been blessed tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I'm almost done. I got two more scriptures after this. Matthew 7, 22. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Matthew 7, 22. I'm reading every scripture today in this sermon. Well, you know, you know the, the that I, I I'm I'm telling you certain ones you can go back and read like Exodus 20 and 7, but the um, main ones right here. I'm giving you that the Lord just wants me to focus right now because of the sake of time. I'm actually running out of voice and I'm running out of time on this video recorder because I don't know how long it's going to be before it cuts off when it reaches a certain battery level. For some reason, it does cut off from time to time. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I got two scriptures to, to, in the New Testament to back that up. The first is in Matthew 7, 22. Bless your Holy Ghost. Love you, Lord Jesus. Actually, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Actually, verse 20. Wherefore, Matthew 7, 20. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know their mind. Know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wondrous work, wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Whoa, hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. What is iniquity? Iniquity is habitual sins. Those who are continuing to live like the devil and professing that they live for heaven. Whoa, powerful word, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord. To use his name but not be in personal relationship with him is to use his name in vain. There was some exorcists watching Paul demonstrate the power of the name of Jesus, but they did not know Jesus personally. They only knew what they saw was working, so they tried to do that. And what happened next will blow your mind. It's something as called, it's something, it's something a so-called believer never wants to hear a demon say. Go to Acts 19, 13 through 17. Acts 19, 13 through 17. <laughs> I love this story. This is one of my most fascinating favorite stories. I love it. It's so funny. But at the same time, it's so revelation. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Lord, give them ears to hear today, right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Then certain vagabond Jews, exorcists, 
took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. They didn't know Jesus. They just using the name illegally. Bless your Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> and there were seven sons of one Segva, Segva, a Jew and a chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are ye? <laughs> and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling in Ephesus and fear fell on them all and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. Remember Jesus said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw all, on me, I'll draw all un men unto me. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But my friends, if you're using his name illegally, you're going to stand before God on it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody needed to hear this word tonight. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The last verse says it all. That his name was respected. It was honored. He was magnified. They saw what happened in the church. It's time we get back to the name of Christ. Honoring God the Father through the Son. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Respect His righteousness again. It's time for us to do that. Final scripture says it all. All who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. In the close of this message, I want to say that if you have got convicted about this message, it was for you. If you got blessed by this message and inspired, it was for you. Call on the name of the Lord. If you're backslid, pray this with me. Jesus, I repent of my sins. I come to you a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Fill me with your spirit that I may keep in my home. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, according to the prayer you just prayed, you're born again. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, go to a good Bible-believing church. Fast, pray, read your Bible, worship the Lord, and He'll transform your life. You'll never be the same. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you are sick in your body, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every sickness in Jesus' name. I command Every sin is to loose you and let you go free. I review every spirit of infirmity in Jesus' name. I command create a miracle from the body part room in heaven. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity. I command it go in Jesus' name. Loose them and let them go free. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, if you're bound up, the Bible said, He who the Son says free is free indeed. So in Jesus' name, I command every spirit to loose you and let you go free. Every addiction to loose you. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a little bit of cough there. Loose you and let you go free in Jesus' name. I command there to be no desire to return in Jesus' name. No withdrawals and no backlash. Go from them now, I charge you, every devil that bind them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. He who the Son says free is free indeed. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you've never been filled with the Holy Ghost, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. And out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Do it now, Lord Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, 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 fire. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. And I want to thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. 
I am your brother in the Lord, Brother H.R., and it's always the hour for revival. See you there in the next meeting, or I'll see you there in heaven. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.